out here. I'm not trying to change no man, you know, because I, I can't teach you how to be a man. I taught my sons how to be a man, but not no grown man. So for me, you know, um, I'm bringing you serenity, number one, because I know a man, a black man, I love my black man. I've never dated outside my race, but, and I love my black man. I want that to be clear. Um, I want to bring him serenity because I know that the man, the black man, you guys go through so much. You have the weight of the world on your shoulders. You're expected to know everything this this that and third you you expect the expectations of the world for the black man you already have it hard so when you come home it's going to be serene i'm not going to be i'm not here to argue with you picking with nitpicking with you i'm not that chick i'm definitely that's number one i'm gonna bring you serenity and just peace you'll be happy over here i'm gonna make sure of that <laughs> you know um you know, my grandmother told me, I was raised by my grandmother, you know that. So my grandmother told me a <clears throat> long time ago that you always, always leave a man with his dignity and his pride. You do not try to, you do not castrate a man in front of his friend, anywhere. You don't castrate him at all, especially in front of his friends. So I've always taken those things that my grandmother told me about relationships, about being with a man and just, um, and applied those where they need to be in, within my life. So if we're together, I'm not, <laughs> you could say, you know, like, like you wanna be the leader, and I'm going to let you lead because that's just how I was raised. I'm going to let them, I'm going to follow your lead. And if you fucking this over, I'm sorry, Kim Chris. Yeah, I might edit it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> if you over here messing this up, <laughs> if you over here messing something up and I told you already that it needs to be this way, I'm going to let you do it. How you, <laughs> you know, I'm going I'm to, yeah, yeah. you'll be like, oh, that's nice, baby. But, you know, I really feel like you could have, it would have probably worked better if you to, right. Right. you know, this, it's this, you know, delivery. whatever. Yeah. Huh? It's right. All it's about all delivery. about the delivery. It's definitely all about the delivery. So, I mean, of course, I know how to be a boss. So anything that I know for me and it's worked for me, I'm going to help him on those levels. Like this particular past guy, this very recent past guy, his credit wasn't all that great. So I helped him. I showed him what to do to build his credit. I showed him how to be a better him. Um, and that's what I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna definitely show you, you know, smooth out the edges for you, you know, that you may not see or wrong, but I'm not just gonna be, you need to this and you, you know, I, that's, oh, that's a nagging somebody. I would right. never, I cannot personally, I cannot, cause I don't like all that loud and just yeah. ah, rah, 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 that, yeah, no. That's not me. <laughs> so, so do That's you not. think? Do you think the pool is small to to uh to attract the man you want, or do you <laughs> say it again? Do you think the pool is very small for you to find the man that you're attracted to, or do you think you're too picky? You know, I I really had to sit back and um and assess myself because I was like, look, am I picky? Is it okay to be picky? You know, like. Because before I settled, you know, with my son's father, because that's all I knew, mm -hmm. you know, I settled. But dealing with him and dealing with the councilman and dealing with this last guy, I feel like me being picky is warranted, you know. It's warranted and it's justifiable. So <clears throat> that goes back to knowing your type. Right. You know, I know my type, but is my type always right? I don't know where to go at this point. I don't know if I know that my type, there's something wrong with there. <laughs> there's something wrong there. Right. And then I know that the guy that I wouldn't normally go for, there's definitely something wrong there. So I need to figure out within me you know, how can I get a little bit of both, you right, know, right. and be okay with it? Nobody's perfect. And I get that. I know that nobody's, I'm not perfect. 
Right. You know, and but I know what I will not deal with. Some things that are deal, I can't, I can't, and I will not tell. Like what we were talking about earlier, you know, explaining my type. But I will tell you my deal breakers. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you're still in a relationship, if you're still married, to me, separated is not divorced. Separated is still married. You could easily get back with your your separated spouse. So if you are married, stay away from me. Period. You need to let me know up front. Because as someone as my in my stature, I'm gonna screen you like I'm screening you like for a government job. Mm. All I need is your name and your date of birth. That is it. That is all. all right. I'm gonna run your name. Let the, brother, I let the brother know you're doing a background check on him. <laughs> I talked I'm about this in my video. <laughs> I'm gonna do a background check. Let I'm him know. Let, let him know though. That should be a discussion. Ask him first, does he have anything he needs to reveal? And then say I do. I'm gonna do a background check on you. I, I take that back. I just lied. I didn't tell the councilman, and he was so angry at me. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, he was, he was so angry at me he told me that i violated his privacy how yes yeah how? okay i'm yes. okay before before a job before a job can't even do a background check i gotta sign this privacy waiver this privacy act waiver but it's okay. public info oh man listen I think I it think, is public information i think you should be straight up and tell the person that you're gonna do it, like well in the video. In the video, when I explain how the lady did the background check on me, I would've been okay with it. Let's have a discussion first. Ask me what you want to ask me, and then say I'm gonna do a background check on you. I would've said cool. I would've said cool. 